We begin tonight with breaking news of fires burning just north of downtown Spokane. This fire started near the intersection of Adams and Broadway. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Luna. Fire calls were made shortly before nine tonight and it appears this fire is burning at a church. Our Hawk Hammer is working for you with the latest information. He joins us now live from the scene. Hawk, can you tell us about the situation? Aaron, it's just a hugely active scene out here. We've actually just gotten a break in the smoke with all the flames and water that they've been putting on this building. But just take a look. You can still see flames coming out of this building, kind of behind that main arch, and that's where they're focusing the majority of the water right now. But back out here, you can just take a look up at the top of the ladders. That's where firefighters are putting the majority of this water on the fire from uh, because they are worried about the structural strength of this building. They're treating as if it may collapse at any time, but there are 60 firefighters currently out on scene here. They're in a completely defensive mode right now because, as I mentioned, they are treating this as if the building may collapse at any time. I'm told by the deputy fire chief that this was a church and that it was vacant at the time this fire started. The building's old. I'm told it was built in 1905 and has completely wood framing, creating a challenge for firefighters as they fight it because of the smoke, but they say it may act actually help the firefighters because the building may be able to stand uh, the onslaught of the fire and water, but it's too early for them to tell. They have cl closed all the roads here on Broadway and Adams. They say it's going to be a good long while before they are reopened, and they don't expect to be able to enter the building until well into tomorrow. But they tell me they're expecting to stay out here fighting this fire well into tonight, likely into tomorrow. Live. I'm Hawk Hammer, KXLY4 News. Hawk, uh, thank you for those updates. 